Hey guys, how are we all doing? It's denim or denim one or denim weave or whatever. Um, back to another freestyle skateboarding trip tip and it has been a while. Hope you had a good new year, hope you had a good Christmas. I didn't, I got COVID, it sucked. Um, but whatever, it's gonna happen. What can you do? Back for another trick tip, it's been a little while, it's one I get asked about a lot, it's a Coco wheelie, uh, so I'm sure you'll have seen this one before. Let's get stuck in and have a go, it's really cold, um, so we'll get warmed up and we'll see what we can do. Nice one. Also the moustache is back. Yeah. Disgusting. Right, so Coco Wheelies. Uh, this is one that was invented by Pierre Andre back in the 80s. Uh, not to be confused with a Primo slide. A Primo slide is where we're sliding on both the wheels and the rail of the board. A Coco Wheelie, we're about here, so we're just riding on, on the wheels here. On two wheels, so it's like, a, like a, a sideways wheelie or a sideways manual, kind of. A couple of things that are really important that are going to help you is you're going to need some uh, some offset wheels for this one really. Good set of freestyle wheels because we're riding just on the edge of the wheel right here. You can see here I'm riding the size mix. Um, they're covering up the axle nut which means I'm not going to grind this down into the floor. Um, and to be honest, if I'm doing my cocoa wheelie properly, I shouldn't be grinding the axle into the floor anyway. Because I'm riding just on that edge of the wheel for this one. So Coco Wheelie, we need to be going at a moderate speed for this one. Kind of like a wheelie or a manual, um, the speed is going to help, that momentum is going to help us keep our balance, we're not going to have to hold it for quite as long as well. So you don't want to be absolutely tanking, although you can if you want, but when you're learning this one I'd say just go at a moderate speed. Now, there's quite a few other dudes who have done a trick tip on Coco Wheelies, I'm going to include those in the description. Um, in this video and that's just because everyone does things a bit differently so um, the way you people learn is different some people might benefit more from one of Tony's videos um, so this is just kind of how I do it feel free to look around get some information from a lot of different sources and see what works for you so foot positioning for a Coco wheelie you should be able to see on the video here that I'm kind of using a similar position as to when I just pull up to get into rail okay so that is my front foot is pushing down on the on the rail of the board to pick the board up into rail now the key difference here is I'm not going all the way up into rail here what I want to do is try and hold it at a halfway point between being in rail and between all four wheels being down on the floor. Now there's kind of like a distinctive biting point where you're going to find that perfect angle to hold these in. And it's going to be a little bit different for everyone really, but it's all about using your ankle control and that fine-tuned sort of muscle in the ankles to sort of hold this in place. So one way that you can kind of get used to that is try and pull yourself up into rail but then hold the board halfway just before you're getting right up into the rail. Alternatively you can start in rail and just get used to dropping the board down a little bit and finding that point where it locks in on those wheels. Now it's going to take a little while to figure this one out. That's kind of the biggest issue with Coco Wheelies is just finding that perfect point of balance. So once we're getting our feet up onto the top of the rail, we're not holding them perfectly parallel and pointing out in front of us like we would do for a normal rail stand. We're at a bit of an angle, okay? So our toes should be pointing, ideally, at about 45 degrees up towards the nose. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better on this clip here. So my feet are totally level and pointing out in front. They're at a bit of an angle. That's gonna help give me that bit more control. In terms of how I'm holding this, I'm kind of using my, my toes to control the board here. So when I'm getting up into, into rail, my feet are kind of, I've got my toes hanging just over the edge of this front wheel here. And I'm using that fine control in my toes and my ankles to keep the board locked into that Coco wheelie position. Now the back foot is going to act as your stabilising foot. That's what's going to keep the Coco wheelie nice and solid. Your front foot is more kind of for the steering side of things. Now usually when you're going at a good speed you should be able to hold these pretty straight. But if you're finding that you're rapidly turning off to one side it's a case of keeping that front foot nice and locked in.
Now another thing to note here is that uh, tight trucks are going to help you just, I mean, in general for freestyle tight trucks can be a bit more useful in my opinion, but certainly for a cocoa wheelie it's going to help keep it a lot more stable when you're up there. So now once I'm up in the cocoa wheelie I'm going to keep my knees fairly nice and bent. I'm going to lock my ankles in and I'm going to keep them pretty straight and they're going to be pushing downwards a little bit just on this outer edge of the wheel and that's mainly so that the board isn't going to pop straight up into the rail and I'm going to end up in like a primo slide. Now when I'm wanting to get out of my, uh, my cocoa wheelie it's pretty simple just like if you were getting out of rail we're just going to kick the board back down and hop a little bit off the wheels just to let the board flop back down. In terms of our weight distribution here um, I'm keeping my my weight fairly central through the middle of the board if anything maybe a tiny tiny bit more on that back foot um, just because like I say that back foot is our stabilizing foot so you want to really keep the Coco wheelie locked in with that foot okay so um, Coco wheelies uh, that's all the tips that I can really give you on the Coco Wheelie, now hopefully those are helpful, like say freestyle wheels and tight trucks are pretty essential. I'm going to put some links down in the description for stuff that you can go and buy if you don't have it already. Main thing with this one is you have to be persistent, you have to keep working at it, it's tough, it's hard to learn. Same as everything in freestyle, it's not going to happen first time. So don't be disheartened, you're going to have to work for this one to get it dialed in, okay? But once you've got it, it's a hugely versatile trick. It's great fun to chuck into into flowing lines and, and routines. So definitely one that's worth learning. Quintessential freestyle trick. Highly recommended. 10 out of 10. Definitely would do again. Nice one. Okay, best of luck. Like I say, go check out some other Coco Wheelie videos. You will find what works best for you. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. I'm here to help you. I'll do my best. Um, and we'll see you really soon for some more trick tips, hopefully. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.